Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome to Koopa TV. Today we're going to talk about nail brushes. I know there's a lot of different ones, so it's really easy to get overwhelmed. And I know you guys had a lot of questions, so today we're going to explain each one that we have and the different things that they could do. So let's get started. So let's talk about the anatomy of your brush. So there is the handle, the ferrule, and then the bristles. So make sure when you're picking out a brush, you get something like this that has a good long handle. Um, you want it to fit comfortably in your hand, but you also want a handle that's acetone proof. Um, you want the brush to last as long as possible and not get all funky if there are like any acetone on your fingers or it gets on it or anything. You want it to look really, really nice for as long as possible. So this is the ferrule. And then as you can see, it's crimped a little bit towards the end here. Uh, when the ferrule's crimped, it means it's an oval brush. If there's no crimp at all, that's more of a rounded brush. These are our red sable bristles. The red sables are uh, more coarse, so you can hold more acrylic liquid. So this brush is our number eight acrylic brush. Since it's a little bit smaller, it doesn't hold as much liquid as the bigger ones, like a number 18 or number 16. So it's nice because you get more control with a smaller brush. So dip your brush about halfway in the liquid and then wipe it twice on either side because you don't want to get too much liquid. And then you can dip it in the powder and get a tiny little dot this is really good for beginners and for students, just because it's so precise, you can get the tiniest little dots. So you place it, and then you pat it, so you can make a little circle or build a nail, depending on what you're doing. So now I'm gonna show you the number 10. It's slightly bigger than the number eight, so you can get dots that are a little bit bigger. So same thing, dip your brush in about halfway through, wipe it twice, once on either side. And then you can get a dot that's just slightly bigger. And same thing, you place it, and then you pat it down. And you can see the dot's a little bit bigger with the number 10 than it was with the number eight. Now this is brush number 16, it's slightly bigger than number 10. We're gonna do the same thing, dip it about halfway, brush it twice, once on either side. And then you can get, again, a dot that's even bigger. You can place it on the nail. And pat it down. Okay, now we're gonna do number 18, which is the biggest brush. And you're gonna dip your brush in. And as you can see, this brush is so big, it's absorbing so much liquid. So you definitely need to make sure you brush this one twice so you don't have a ton of liquid in there. And then you scoop the ball out. And it's gonna be the biggest one out of everything, all of, the ones that, all of the ones that we were doing. So you just set it on the nail and you just pat it. And already you can see that this is taking up most of the nail. It's a really big brush. So now we're gonna move on to the more high-end brushes. So this is our number eight. This is our Divinity Sculptor brush. And this has Kalinsky Sable bristles, which means that they're like more fine and silky. They're really, really nice. This is a really nice brush. So to start off, it's got this cap on it, which will keep your brush looking like new for longer, because it'll keep the bristles nice and safe. You can stick it right on the end there so you don't lose it. And it has these really pretty diamonds, because who doesn't want a pretty brush? You could be fancy, it's nice. Uh, but also, because the bristles are a lot nicer, they'll stay together like this at this really nice point. So then when you dip it into the acrylic liquid, they'll still stay together and they still look really nice. So then because of this point, you can do more precise work. So this is really nice. So we're gonna move on to our number 10. And this is the Divinity Sculptor number 10. So this is a more high-end brush as well, like the number eight. And it has the Kalinsky Sable bristles as well. So see, they've got a nice little point on the end. So even though this is bigger, you'll dip it in the liquid and it'll still keep this really nice point. And you don't even, even when you brush it on the side, it'll still keep the point on there. And it has the same diamonds in the handle, which are really pretty and they're really fun. 
So now we're moving on to one of my all-time favorite brushes. This is my favorite, favorite one that I own. This is the Divinity French brush. This is a two-in-one brush. This is really, really great because on one end, you have this French brush. So it's nice because it's at a slant and it's pointed. So when clients want that really deep smile line, you can just go in there and you can get every single corner. So if they have a lot of cuticle on the sides or anything like that, it doesn't matter because it's got this really sharp point so you can get to it. And then on the other side, it has the gel brush. And this is great because it's rounded on the sides. So you can get as close to the cuticle as possible and it's short. So if they've got really tiny nail beds, you can still paint them and you can be really precise. So this is a amazing brush for everyone. And you can remember the gels on this side because one side's a little bit thicker with the silver and the French is on this side. And this, um, like the other brushes that I showed you, the acrylic brushes, this has the nice pretty diamonds in it. And all of these handles too are acetone proof. So these will last you a really long time and they'll look pretty for a really long time. I love this brush, this is one of my favorites. So next we're gonna talk about our Artfinity and our Gelfinity brushes. I love these two because they are also two in one. This one is really great for 3D nail art. Um, this is really great for acrylics because it's got that sharp little point. So you can make little flowers or anything that's really precise and small. And it comes with the little cap. And this little pink diamond, you can push up and you have a little daughter tool. So again, if you're doing anything like flowers or hearts or anything like that, this can help you. I love that and it goes right down in there. So this is our Gelfinity brush, which you may recognize from the other video. This comes in our nail art kit. So this has the cap on it as well. And this is nice for hard gels, but you can also do it for soft gels. Any type of gels, this brush is really nice. And it's also two in one. So you can push this little blue diamond up and you get a little daughter tool. This is great because if you're doing nail art and you need to do it really quickly, you can do it with this one. This is really great. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions, you can go to our website, koopainc.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Bye, see you real soon.